we have minus p comma q as one coordinate which of these could lie in diagonally opposite quadrant p comma minus q imagine this is of course possible for example if p is equal to 2 and q is equal to 3 minus p comma q will be minus 2 comma 3 and p comma minus q will be 2 comma minus 3 imagine draw the coordinate axis x is negative y is positive so this quadrant x is positive y is negative so this quadrant c they lie in the diagonally opposite quadrants and therefore this is very much possible let's see minus q comma p one coordinate we have is minus p comma q and the other is minus q comma p so if p is equal to minus 2 and q is equal to let's say 3 then minus p comma q will mean 2 comma 3 this would mean 2 comma 3 both are positive so the first quadrant in this case minus q comma p will mean minus 3 comma minus 2 both are negative so the fourth quadrant rather third quadrant and see once again these two are lying in the diagonally opposite quadrants so this is also possible let's now build a case for minus p comma q and this one q comma minus p let's think of a case when they can lie in opposite quadrants this one is simple so again for something like p is equal to 2 and q is equal to 3 this would mean minus 2 comma 3 and this would mean 3 comma minus 2 x negative y positive so this quadrant and x positive y negative means this quadrant so once again this is also possible all three are possible